And uh, hey, everybody! <laughs> Welcome. Uh, sorry, we're in a new intro this week. What's that? Well, hello, everybody. What? And, and welcome to my fat ass. Is this NPR? This it is NPR. <laughs> if you listen closely, you'll hear the sound of your own heart beating because we're so quiet. <laughs> what does NPR stand for? I something Republicans, right? No, uh, no. <laughs> no freaking Republicans or something. Is that what that stands, stands for? for uh, uh, non. Uh, Pubis uh, retirement. What? Yeah, like that's no pubis. national. national Isn't that like radio. the pubis is like where your junk is at? The pubis bone. I, and I stuff? don't. I think so. Yeah, I think so. It's the, it's, the nether regions. They it's call located that. very close to Borat because he always <laughs> talk about his pubis. Mm, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, the his it annus. That's the pubis goes like that. <laughs> What's the thing know. with the sleeve? Doesn't he have a floppy sleeve <laughs> he, or something? No, he talks about his. His uh, we, his sister, right? No, his his wife, his wife, his oh, wife machine, and oh. like sleeve of wizard. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yes, and dancing bears. Thank you, Kazakhstan or wherever the hell he's from. Uh, so, um, you got a topic? I, what do I you want to talk about? I should be talking like this. I I do have a topic, and thank mm. you for asking. Is uh, it related to NPR? Really? Is that why you're it, talking it, like that? It, it is not related. I, I feel like I should put my glasses on. Hey, uh, I'm hey, now, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, well, welcome to my uh, inflated digits and uh, <laughs> my uh, grande uh, phalanges. My fat hands. I want to talk what do you about. Want, what do you want to talk about? We you know there there is uh, there is a a a, a pseudo science out there called cryptozoology. I should have left my glasses on for that. And uh, cryptozoology is the study of basically Bigfoot. Fi- fictional animals. Yes, Bigfoot <laughs> and Loch Ness Big, monster cryptids. Yes, yeah, yes, cryptos. Yeah. Are, uh, cryptids are right. things that are yes. known not known to exist in right like cryptocurrency. Terms. Right, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's all the same. That's that's how Bigfoot buys his food is with cryptocurrency. So um, there's there's one thing that nobody ever talks about uh, that's uh, particularly germane to your and my um, age group. And particularly males, and uh, not to be confused with Bigfoot, it's Pissfoot. Mm. And uh, Pissfoot is not really an animal. Uh, Pissfoot is what happens to men, middle-aged men primarily, who have to get up in the middle of the night to pee, and then they get some splashing onto their feet, Mm. and then they have to go back to bed. And then the question is, what do you do with Pissfoot? So um, <laughs> I think that it, this is a monumental moment where Ben and I need to engineer a piss foot device that is basically like a towel holder that's like on foot level. And so when men go to pee and they get piss on their feet, you can wipe your foot off on this piss foot towel and then it's obviously washable. And then you can go to bed without getting, you know, piss foot all over your, all over your sheets. So uh, not that Ben and I have ever got urine on our feet in the history of our lives and gone back to bed. I, I know that Ben personally, after he, if he, if he does go in the middle of the night, puts his foot in a pot of boiling water to, to cleanse his feet prior to getting, going back to bed. That's only right. when I get back into bed with you though. That's yes. Well, you know, you gotta have standards and it's important because yeah. you know, I'm, I'm finicky and I like, I like to keep the sheets clean if, if at all yeah. possible. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I don't even fart in my bed. I get out, you know, open a window and you have a little room out. for that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's why I'd get a two bedroom apartment. So. A little brown room. <laughs> Got a little room full of farts. <laughs> Sorry, Filbert. But yeah. So I thought uh, I heard a fart over there. Actually, I was looking like, oh, I think I hear a fart. <laughs> I yeah, couldn't have, I don't uh, know. yeah so yeah no I don't, I don't know anything about that like getting up in the middle of the night you're going to the bathroom and then getting back yeah. into bed and your feet are a little wet uh, yeah. i don't know anything never about heard it. of that never nobody okay no so, it doesn't it doesn't so, happen to me because so for the six if, americans that are affected by that i want to come up with a device to cure piss foot that's that is my 
That's my desire. It seems to me that wouldn't really be a crypto uh, thing because it's a known fact that this happens. So well, you just be, said it doesn't happen to you. So it may be. It doesn't may happen be, to me, but that doesn't mean it, it doesn't exist in the world. Well, know? that's the same with Bigfoot. You know, just because I've never seen it doesn't mean it's not real. You know, so. <laughs> it does. I mean, <laughs> no, actually, it does mean that. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> so the Great Wall of China is not real because I've never seen it. <laughs> okay, I've seen that so. from space. Oh, you did? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, when the aliens took me up, they showed me mm. that. So they're like, oh, look, you can see this. Did they talk about piss foot while you're up there? Uh, no, they have a little brown room that they put me in. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's it got a, a window and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's got it's got a bidet for your feet. <laughs> yeah. Foot bidet. No, I think that, I think that's a great idea. I mean, otherwise, what do you have to do? Like just wash your foot off with a little bit of toilet paper, but then you're oh, just yeah. wiping pee on yourself. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. You, you know, could, you I mean, there is a thing called a sink and a washcloth. So I guess. Oh yeah. Cause that's, theor- that's what you want to do. Theoretically. Yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. You want to get contort yourself, your middle-aged body. The reality. In the, sink. <laughs> the reality of this situation is that if you <laughs> piss on your foot a little bit and it's three o'clock in the morning, you're getting your ass back into bed and you're wiping on the sheets. But like I said, I don't do that. So no, I wouldn't know does. personally. No, I wouldn't know personally, but you know. and then, <laughs> i mean i guess you could just sit down to pee i mean i guess that is an option that would solve that would solve you know? a lot of problems yeah uh but that ain't gonna happen i no. mean the, the you know the only thing that uh we men have left uh, of, of our of our masculinity is the ability to piss everywhere but the toilet that is really <laughs> this is our last bastion of independence especially it's, three o'clock in the morning because your, your eyes are not open entirely you, it's you like, might piss in your sink and put your foot in the toilet you don't know what the hell's going on it's three o'clock in the morning for god's sake hey, whatever you got to do to you know. <laughs> that's right <laughs>